Hey there, buddy. This is Adam Zundel from the Mountain East Conference, and we wanted to take this opportunity to highlight some of the people that are behind the scenes and doing so much work in our athletic departments on behalf of the student athletes. And joining us now is Danny Fry from West Virginia Wesleyan. Danny, thanks for taking some time with us here today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, th thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Of course, you got it. Uh, well, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, where you're from, uh, where you went to school, and how you ended up at uh, West Virginia Wesleyan. Okay. Sure. Uh, so from the Midwest, uh, from Springfield, Illinois, uh, went to college for both my undergrad uh, and my master's degree at Western Illinois University, go Leathernecks, and uh, was a graduate assistant there for, for two years. I also was the uh, radio broadcaster for the women's basketball team for four years and the men's basketball team for two years, in addition to, of, you know, a lot of other things, you know, there, I wear many hats, um, but was just looking, you know, looking for a place to land after I graduated uh, in May and, uh, you know, saw the, the job posting. Nate Chase uh, got back to me, you know, uh, right away, uh, my, my predecessor here here as a sports information director here at Wesleyan and you know it moved pretty fast and you know I was here uh, late July early August and and really have been enjoying it here uh, in uh, in West Virginia and at WVWC. Biggest difference between coming from the Midwest and landing in Buchanan. Well you know what it has and some people were telling me it might have been you know not a culture shock with some sort of a change and it really, you know, really wasn't too big of a, of a different difference for me. Uh, Macomb's a relatively small town. That was a college town I came from. And uh, my mom's from a, a small town in, in, in Illinois. And, you know, but Cannon actually, you know, has, has a lot of things. You know, some people may consider it small, but I think there's, there's still a lot to do here. Obviously, the thing that stood out for me here was, you know, just the natural beauty. You know, you got the, you know, your home among the hills and you got the mountains and all that. So, I mean, we don't have mountains mountains where I'm from, you know, so, um, you know, sometimes it's going to be a little hilly against some river valleys, but other, other than that, you know, yeah, the scenery is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's why I don't really mind the 10 hour drive that I've done a few times, you know, back and forth is, uh, is some of the scenery, but that definitely stood out here. Have you gotten a chance to indulge in the delicate, the, the delicacy that is a pepperoni roll? Yes. And I actually just had one yesterday. Okay. Uh, yeah. Favorite one so far here would be uh, from the donut shop in Buchanan. That's a classic. Um, just go go in there and uh, had to had to kind of pull off on the shoulder of the road because it's a little busier now with, with everybody back. But uh, but it was worth it. And, uh, you know, waiting in line there for it. But yes, I have. And it, it's great. Obviously, you mentioned about being a broadcaster. How did your passion for that kind of get involved and kind of filter into being a sports information director? Sure. So um, initially, I mean, I've been kind of all over the map. I was involved with our with our campus newscast when I when I was in college at Western Illinois. And then I tried out as a freshman and uh, somehow got the traveling uh, women's basketball radio job. So I got to travel there um, throughout our conference and, and broadcast games. And I really, I, I've always really wanted to do that play by play, that sort of thing. Then I thought, oh, maybe I wanna be you know, maybe I want to go and, and be in front of the camera, maybe a, a sports director somewhere and and uh, applied for a couple jobs local in that, in that area in, the, in Western Illinois and uh, for TV stations. Didn't get it. So then my next plan was, OK, minor league baseball. Got an internship uh, with the Peoria Chiefs. I'd worked with some summer baseball teams before that. Um, and I just realized, you know, when I was waiting, how, you know, how hard it is to break in and it's worth, you know, the time and the effort and to have that dream. But I also had had the chance to be a student worker and get involved in the sports information department because I worked with them as a broadcaster. I, I got a chance to work in the athletic communications department there at Western Illinois and, and really, really liked it. And I liked the variety. You know, with with minor league baseball, you're doing that every single day. It's the same thing for 140 games, you know, depending what level you're at. And, you know, and, and I, I liked it. I like baseball, but you got to really have the love and the passion for it. And I like the variety, you know, where you, and, and we definitely get it here at Wesleyan with the amount of sports that we offer here. So I like the variety. Um, I was lucky enough to get an opportunity um, right after I took the internship. Um, with the Peoria Chiefs in Peoria, Illinois, um, which is like an hour and 15 from where 
the campus at Western Illinois was. Got an opportunity uh, from the uh, athletic communications director there. Um, she said, you know, we, we'd love to have you back. And I said, absolutely. You know, like where I, that wasn't even, oh, let me think it over. You know, what can I do? And uh, so I did that for, you know, two years. And then, you know, after that, I decided that, you know, this is still something I want to do and, and really love doing. I know you've only been at it for a short amount of time and, and up until now, not a ton of going stuff going on with, with sports, but what has been the toughest part and what's been the most rewarding part? Sure. So um, I think the toughest part is just kind of organizing every, everything out, you know, and, and we have so many wonderful people here at Wesley and that make my job easy. I have to give a shout out um, here in this SID week uh, to two fantastic graduate assistants, Brendan Nearing and Martin Radosevich. I want to get that right. So it's Martin Radosevich and Brendan Nearing. And uh, they, they, came, they come in and they, they just get it. You know, I feel like you hear coaches and people say that all the time that they just get it, but they do. And I mean, I, we throw them in, you know, into the fire, so to speak, with live stats. And you have that run and gun press up and down Mountain East style of basketball. And they're just doing a fantastic job. It's not just that, whether it's taking photos, making some graphics, you know, what, whatever you ask them to do, they're fantastic. So, so they make my job a lot easier. And there's also the coaches here are great to work with support staff, you know, et cetera. So that's how, but it's just trying to line those things up, you know, I, I would say is, a, is one thing the, the most rewarding is when you get it, I think when you get a thank you, you know, from, from a player or from a coach, that's always been what really drew me to this field, to the athletic comm and the sports information field is, is just helping, helping coaches out, helping players out and, and get in that thank you because we don't necessarily, and we don't necessarily have to get that all the time. I mean, that's why we have the hashtag thank your SID, but you know, I, I don't need that recognition all the time, but when you do get it, or especially if it's from like a parent, you know, watching a live stream that's appreciating the work you're doing. That stuff is huge and the most rewarding for sure. Well, absolutely. And we're going to kind of leave it at that because this is our thank you to you and the work that you are doing on West Virginia Wesleyan's campus. We certainly appreciate it. Keep it up. And uh, thanks so much for the time. Thanks, Adam. Same to you.